dynamic X form is a convenient way to orient a part rather than using the standard rotate and translate. To get there, you can go um, X form and then dynamic X form here. Make a rectangle around the part, hit enter, it brings up this gnomon. That gnomon kind of snaps in based on the geometry of the part, and I'm just going to click there on the corner of the part. And notice if I put my cursor over the X, um, it allows me to rotate around the Y axis. If I bring it out a little bit further, it allows me to rotate the part around the Z axis. I can just click and drag it around. I'll drag it 90 degrees there. Then I can click the center, do a freeform um, translate to, and it'll kind of snap into the origin there. And then if I um, just click the X here, I can do a 90 degree rotation around the X axis there. And when I get it into place, I'm sorry, um, I can click and then just click apply there. You can um, also translate a part by just um, selecting and bringing up the gnomon again and selecting um, this part of the gnomon. And notice if I click, I can drag it um, any amount that I wish. To change the increments, you can go to settings. By default, it's set at five degrees for the rotational increment and a quarter of an inch for the linear translation increment. The additional thing that you can do with Dynamic X form is make copies. Notice if I go to copy here, I can um, hit maybe multiple copies and you can just drag the part out and drag it wherever you'd want and you can make copies in any direction you would like.